Hello and welcome back to the outer world. If you're still watching the Oh, so that's where I was. That that explains the whole base thing over at the end of the tunnel. So yeah, yeah, okay. Perfectly reasonable for shit to be falling out of the sky then. Hello, who are you? I'm sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. And sometimes I forget. You vote for Spacer's Choice. Uh, be to each water? Heard of it. My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. Well, uh, don't go looking into it. If you did, that'd be good, actually. They could use the help. And if you do, please don't mention us. I'd have to go over my contract, but I don't think I'm allowed to leave Groundbreaker. Or this stall. So, what can I get you? Some soap? Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. I've got to ask you about the hat. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our Consumer Care Headwear Division. You doing all right in there? Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. Can you see in there? I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the Spacer's Choice catalog, which is available here at a reasonable price. How do you press your teeth? Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time, but we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouth wash, and manta floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. Do you miss eating solid food? Don't miss out on these deals. You'll find none like them on all a Groundbreaker. Or anywhere in the Halcyon colony. Do you have to sleep with that on? Trouble sleeping? Try our Lunar Eclipse mix. That's two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig of two-hour energy brew. The blast will send you through the stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold, guaranteed. Does Spaces Choice make you wear that? Add an additional 10% to your purchase today and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. At Spacer's Choice, we care about your health and emotional well-being. That's why we put Martin through six years of vendor school, only to make him wear this hat. Do you need me to help get you out of there? Even if my contract didn't forbid it, I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. Now. Are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar green. The future is spearmint. I am addressing the man beneath the mask. Are you okay? I, uh, you know, damn it. No slogan for that one. Uh, look, this hat, my job, it may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. If there are self made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. Sorry if I push you too hard, Martin. It's fine. I should be stronger than this. Thanks for taking an interest. Uh, speaking of interest, can I interest you in some quality budget goods? At Spacer's Choice, we cut corners so you don't have to. What do you sell here? Anything and everything. 
Whatever you want, we got it. And when you need a replacement, we got that too. Okay. Show me what you've got then. Uh, have a look. I'm gonna assume it's mostly... Lies. 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 And... Yeah. He doesn't really seem to be having the best of times. And... Alas, that is just how it goes. What is this? Hmm. Bonus against corrosive, bonus against physical. Uh, what slots on the armor do I have? Is this gadget? This is armoring. So armoring is the base one, usually. So that's not something I really need to work on, because... I think I have like a physical one from that already. Exacto side, what's this? Ooh. Sure and straight barrel. Okay, well, uh, I think that's that's all I want from you. Thank you for your time and thank you for the thirty-six six percent discount. For you? Need some adreno? It's good for you. Spacer's promise. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Make a choice. Spacer's choice. You have to keep in mind that uh, Twitter Time is apparently the cause of uh, the fun times that are the enemies, the, the ones. The bad boys. You know the ones. Hmm. What do you call them? Did you run out of money or did my menu just decide to go away for no reason at all? And where did I get this? That's fine. I think I'm going to want to sell a fair bit of this stuff. I want to keep the bread, for obvious reasons. So let's sell some of that. Sell that. Ooh. Yeah, let's sell that. Body attributes. That might actually be worthwhile. Uh, yeah, I, I don't drink. Tarmac and cheese. It's not real tarmac or real cheese. Yeah. Mock apple. Real mock apple. Real mock taste. I only have two mock apples. I thought I had more than that. Let's sell the fish stick as well. Bread noodles. <gasps> we can have both bread and bread noodles. It tastes fresh because it was made with the finest ingredient, which is bread. Pre-sliced bread. So this is Corona, pep pills, to our energy drink. Hmm, yeah, that might be good. Immunized harmful status effect, duration minus 50%. Also awesome rooms here, Max. Now we've activated charcoal. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, I will keep the caffeine things for reasons. And I will keep the body attribute ones. Because those seem quite useful. So that's Adreno, that's Adreno time. Okay, so train of time. Is it rug? I completely misunderstood the situation before. Yeah, I'll keep the waters. But currently I just want to know exactly why these are that I all had. And that I'm all selling. And I'm really taking, uh, trying to take advantage of that 36% discount because I'm hoping that means they pay me more. Because this is a sale value of 13 and this is 14.4 .4 and that sounds... Like I'm getting a good deal. I might be getting a deal. But I don't know if that is at all affected differently between the different characters. Be between the different factions. 
Oh, apparently, I've also been told that you can just uh, buy weapons, dismantle them, and get mods out of them. And then sell set mods. Manti Plasma Gland. Okay. That also sounds like a good time. Thanks, thanks for your time, Martin. You have a good one. CNP near maple syrup. It's near this complete breakfast. Okay, recent users. Kalahanem. It was sent big. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kalahan. Martin didn't log out. You make your space's choice when you sign the employment contract. I keep telling you the hat doesn't fit right, there's something wrong with it. How many people have worn this thing before me? Is this my life now? Because if it is, I'll take it. I'll be your moon man. But won't, there won't be anything left of me to care. Hope you're doing well, ma'am. Thought I'd check in. Are you okay, honey? <laughs> Engineers visit the shop a bunch. You remember when I used to turn a wrench back home and there are two? Lilia Hagen over and Ziploc told me I could always pursue a car career in a salvage if this thing doesn't work out. Please give dad and others a hug for me. Mom, it's really great that we can stay in touch like this. Little reminders of home are more important than ever. Enjoy the quality spaces choice schools I sent. You can get ones that's just like them at home, but I figured you might appreciate me getting the company discount and all. Huh. Ah, public notices. The heat. I know it's bad, as the one whose office is closest to our radiators, you can imagine why I want to take three showers every day. I hear you. We've got eyes on the problem and hands and tools. It's a mechanical problem with a mechanical solution. In the meantime, enjoy some additional water rations and take breaks. You deserve them. If you're thirsting for cooler air, talk to your closest engineer about spots with favorable circulation. Seek an ethically flexible spacer with stellar bay landing clearance. Payment in exchange for return of legal salvage. Details given upon acceptance of contract. Active balance, prior convictions, no questions asked. Our background checks filter out criminal red flags, plausible loyalty in the sublight way. East the sublight way. See Lion uh, Hagen for details. Warehouse next to Spratworth Joint Second Floor. The Halcyon Holdings Corporate Office and its uh, environs are for conducting official port business only. Anyone found misusing port property will be fined accordingly. Port property includes, but is not limited to, Halcyon Holdings office here on ground breaker. breaker. The space directly in front of my desk, the space directly behind my desk, my doorway, my berth, and most importantly, my stairs. Thank you for your consideration, Eden Bedford, certified liaison. Postscriptum, please note that the next space you caught drinking on the stairs outside the embassy may find themselves on the root side of an airlock. Post postscriptum, this is the third time I've had to post this message, and I'm sick and tired of it. I will not hesitate to open a Court sanctioned investigation into your behavior, and when you're caught, punish you accordingly. Felix Millstone. Oh, that's Felix again. That's fine. Hey, Miss Lilia takes good care of us. See, the authorities stay off our tails. So that's that place, and that's Spratenwurst. Let's speak. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? What's Spratwurst exactly? You know what Sprats are. Space rats. The laboratories of Spacer's Choice found a use for this limitless frontier resource. Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly prepared. We grind them up in sausages, then terrify them in their own juices. Is Spratwurst like Postwurst? I've seen that a lot. Absolutely not. Spratwurst and all related terms are registered trademarks of Spacer's Choice. Boar, the other meat, is a registered trademark of CMP. Everyone knows our company and theirs are nothing alike. What does Terrafry mean? Terrafrying is a Spacer's Choice brand secret. A mix of 13 herbs and spices, plus a dash of modern chemistry. Is Spratwurst your own invention or what? Legally? No. The terrifying method was developed and marketed by Spacer's Choice. Between you, me, and this grinder, I've been through lean times. If there's one thing you learn on tramp freighters, it's how to make near anything edible. Might be that this old space hand put a few words in the right ears. And could be that Spacer's Choice liked sticking it to C and P by R and Ding our own special meat. Let's not talk for now. Just as well, 
near about time for me to go check on the trap. I mean, to unload another crate of farm fresh sprats. Yeah, do you have time to check? As long as you don't mind me grinding sprat worse while we talk. Little things don't make themselves chewy. At least not yet. I'm sure modern science will find a way. Okay, that's enough talk for Just now. Just as well. Near about time for me to go check on the trap. I mean, to unload another crate of farm fresh sprats. Do you know that that is also what they mix the tuna out of? Fresh from the grinder, any hour. Okay, you are actually just selling water and terrified sprat first. No, oh, this is dehydrated water tablets, so it's not... I'm, I'm having a moment here where I'm just being like... I just understood what I read. So, we have dehydrated water. Is what it's going at. Don't mind me, I'm just taking a look. In your meat grinder. You wanna grind some meat? Shh. Hey. Oh, it's pick. <laughs> I was like, what, 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 what do you mean I can? No, you have an armor here, you look do you? like someone who's taking their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Tell me about your best. Everything I sell is fresh from the forge. Technically, the metal formed billions of years ago, but it's freshly in the shape. Are you special yourself? Not me, but it's in my blood. After the crossing, my family worked Eridanos, indentured to the corporations. They did what after the vault? Not from around here, are you? After leaving Earth, they worked a local gas giant from a floating refinery. Dangerous work. I was born in the corporate labor, but I'm the first one of my family to buy my way out. That's why I settled on Groundbreaker. It's the last bastion of freedom. Uh, let's see what you've got for sale. You also have a ripped out own officer's spine. That's well done. Light troop armor. That's yeah. That's that's one of those those options that ooh, ooh. that comes with the fault of I have no idea. I don't remember what I'm wearing. I might be wearing just uh, something just the, essentially the same. So Ike's armory is a completely different brand, right? And you run your brand? Well done. Well done indeed. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna head into... I think... Engineering? But holy shit, does this look hot? This is Halcyon Doom. Those XF 411s? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Finals are scheduled to air soon. Well, if they won't, we just sneak in there. That's how we work. Hello? Good law, the heat in here is so unbearable, I can hardly even concentrate. Junlei better hurry up with those damn repairs on Coaches and referees are debating how and if... I thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub-level. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. What is this? Oh, that's Chunlei. And we're going to have to ask Chunlei to look the other way while we take this book. Is this book a quest item? Yeah, it is. I think it's something we can just head on over to. Hmm. Are these the same? No. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so a lot of these items are in fact something we can just put away in in uh, quarters. The hoop, the prayer beads, and this book as well. Did I say the book, the prayer beads, and the book? No, I said the hoop, the prayer beads. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. I'm Captain of Tender Reliable, though my ship's a bit grounded at the moment. I heard we had someone in impound. Wish I could help. I gave the bureaucrats a mode of authority over freight traffic, and it rankles them good when I challenge it. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. I'll do whatever I can to help you keep the peace. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. I once I get out of Impound, I'm bound for Monarch. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. It seems kind of warm in here, what's going on? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Why haven't you fixed them yet? Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Surely the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. The back bays? Am I supposed to know where that is? Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Have you tried sending anyone else down there to get the parts? I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Fair enough. Why so protective? Mardits are descended from the original marine detachment that crossed the void with Groundbreaker. I don't put their lives on the line if I can avoid it. Could we try to talk this out with whoever is down there? Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. You can't get these parts anywhere else? You must not have been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth. And the board monopolizes that kind of trade. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. Their negotiations sound like a bureaucratic coup. Damn right. And while I'm captain of the Groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. I'll get you those back, uh, parts from the back base. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Oh, I have other things to discuss with you as well. Speak your mind. Honestly, I could use the distraction. Uh, what's it like being in command around here? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. The ship is a family business? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gang, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Condolences, Chen Lei. I'm sure those were some big shoes to fill. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job. But the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. 
It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Where's the self-destruct mechanism? I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I yelled at that thing years ago. Now it bruises thin that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. It was a joke, yeah. Uh, aren't you a little young to be training a successor? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. Parvati here could always help you shoulder the burden. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. Back to my other questions. You got my attention. You don't have a lot of faith in the board. In fairness, neither do I. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. How do you keep the board at a safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. Back to my other you questions. Got my attention. Uh, Parvati, you wanted to talk to Chunle? Go ahead. What? I didn't think you just. Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junle. Uh, uh, Chief Junle. Junle is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Parvati, don't be shy about requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. Right. In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Thanks, Chenlei. I had some other questions for you? Not a problem, Captain. Ask away. Actually, that's that's all. How are you feeling? Yeah, huh? What was that about back at Chenlei's? Well, I didn't expect her to be so tall. And did you see the size of her arms? It sounds like you have a crush on her. What? No. Maybe? I don't... It's like somebody reached into my head and pulled out what I didn't know I wanted. You know how hard it is to find anybody who likes working with tools in a little town like Edgewater? There's more to a relationship than beefy arms in the shared career. I reckon there's worse places to start. Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to June Lay? She's just, here's how to fix it. And they trust her. It's just... She's calm and knows what to do. I wish I was half so confident. We'll work on that. Do you want to go and take a look in Chen Lei's room? Quietly now. Nicely done. Psst, get inside! Quick, 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 quick! Quick! Oh, I didn't buy any soap. There's a shower here and I didn't bring any soap. I can't shower anyway. There's a thinking tablet. No idea what that is. Armor pots, weapon pots. More bread. Lots of good things here. Ooh. There's apparently also the option to just break down directly from that menu. Well, nah. Parati, I hope you don't mind. We are robbing your crush. As it usually goes. How about burglarizing your room, I mean? I hope you don't mind that I was just in your room, right? Right. Let me just saw us move out of there. Any news? Good 
Okay, yeah. how are you doing? Put this in the workbench somewhere. This is sealed. This is steward rings, some adreno. You should Hello, Sunk. Engineering's a dangerous place to wander until we get those radiators fixed. It's just a little wall. It's time to reevaluate my career goals. What do you mean? Suppose it's time to reevaluate my career goals. No mercury in Saltoon. Okay. But why is there no mercury in Saltuno? I mean, what's the point of eating Saltuno if it has absolutely no mercury in it? That's Tinker, that is not breakdown. Oops, I just wasted some money. But that's fine. Uh, could we just uh, repair all equipped? Thank you. That's pretty cheap. And... Can I continue tinkering something? Oh, we leveled up at some point, so I can increase the damage of our assault rifle. But that is fucking expensive. I'm pretty sure that was the case before as well. Okay, we have uh, finished our first look around of the... Of that place. What is kitchen? Hello. Greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home-style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Aren't you a clar just a clarified vending machine? That is really rude of me to this ask. This unit is programmed to simulate shock at such assertions. Shock simulation non-functional. A trouble ticket has been filed. Do you want me to take a look at that? Maybe we can fix it? Shock simulation restored. Initiating shock subroutine. How dare you? Shock subroutine complete. Estimated guilt level of customer increased by 35%. Resuming protein dispensation protocol. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Let's see what you have. dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. So you have... Bag of ears. Of the buckhorn. You have some pipe catch, you have some ketchup, and you have... You do have some pasta, that that might have some proteins in it. Okay. Be very, very quiet. Again, we are picking locks. Being a bastard in general. Well, this is fine. Oh, that's more dharma than... Jeez. Warning, please follow all recommended safety protocols before maintaining or cleaning your unit. The ACSRF900 is equipped with anti-tampering subsystem which trigger a self-defense mechanism in, in the food preparation apparatus. Self-defense supersedes any pacifistic function. Please also re remember to deactivate and remove all slicing, dicing, blending, filleting, chopping, deboning and tenderizing apparatus prior to opening any access panels. It is critical that a spray of blood obscures the rest of the manual. This... Poor bastard here seems to have tried to do some maintenance on something. Let's just let's not follow his footsteps in that have regard. Have you seen this man? Reward offers for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what Have you fun. want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs for that walking mustache food on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. Hi, Marcy. Hey! 
Carry on. Who'd I piss off to get a sign here? <laughs> That's a fair question. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. Made well, mostly. I think everything in here is worth more than I made in my whole life. What it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed. Hello? Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Forget Alex, why'd you impound my ship? I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a, a game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells, he tells me he will soon. I impound his ship, he explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. What was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Well, I really wouldn't know. Must have been lost with Alex then. One more tragedy to top the pile. Tell me, how did he die? Trust me, you don't want to know the details. Quite right, of course. Best not to pry into such dismal things. Again, I'm very sorry. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Alex never mentioned Phineas Wells. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Uh, what's this about the board having your head? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Is there anything I can do to help? Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well... It's my white whale, I suppose. I can't tell you that. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Mm, I'm here about Jessie Doyle. I want her debt settled. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. She's worth more alive than dead. Put her under an, an indentured contract. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? She's hiding in sick pay to avoid assassins. I'm sure she'll prefer work. You might be surprised. But we'll proceed on the assumption she'll be reasonable. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? I want to ask you something else. Be my guest. I'm not exactly happy with that particular option. What are those locked doors in the back? A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Does the German visit here often? Oh, good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. What do you do here exactly? I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. 
Big fish in a small sp uh, space station. Nice setup. I have few complaints. Does it seem hot in here to you? Uh, Loha, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. She's doing everything she can. It's your people's fault it's not fixed, not June Lay's. <laughs> My, aren't you... Mm, excitable. Don't talk to her that way. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I don't owe a grease-stained wrench jockey like her the time of day. Let alone my deference. Take it back now. I'm sorry my temper got away from me. Please accept my sincerest apologies to you and your friend. Does it work for you, bro, I think? Oh, I'm not used to folks saying sorry. Um, it's... It's not alright exactly, but I appreciate the apology, I guess? Well, now that that's dealt with, was there anything else you wanted to discuss? Can you get me to Stellar Bay? Good law! Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? So, no. No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. You didn't have to crack open a thesaurus. Best to be clear, I believe. Why are there armed guards in here? Oh, you've noticed my friends. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? Tremendously impressive. They're here to keep the peace, of course. To watch your back, you mean? Precisely. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. You call keeping offices in their promenade benign? When the alternative is board guards at their gates, yes, I do. They don't see it that way, of course, but I can't say I much care. Back to my other questions. Ask away. Illibic. Parati, Max. Oh. <laughs> that went a little better than I expected. I don't particularly mean to keep this as my choice here because I, I have a suspicion that uh, no one on this ship is gonna like what I just did so let's reload that but I like it okay you lot have a good time Please don't see me do anything suspicious. Shh. What do you think you're doing? Nothing at all. I don't have time for this. Move along. How very strange. Why would why would he stop me from doing nothing at all? Is this the room of this great person here? Max, either get in or get or stay out. There's reasons to keep my actions behind closed doors, you know? Even when they are not murders. Okay, so. That was card number one. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. This is five entire seconds. Oh, and this time they they decided to get down to combat. Proper. Was it really that bad? Hmm. Think... What do you find? Okay, so you guys didn't enjoy that particular approach. I want to see what's in here. Of course, this will not be on the quick save, probably. Yeah. 
Yeah, this this is just me being curious right now. I didn't expect them to open fire on you guys. Oh no, this is this is some luxurious quarters. And th this is the time assault rifle here. Well, no sense looting anything because this is just knowledge that I cannot use in the future, probably. Unless I find a way to sneak in. You know, actually sneak in, because I have strong suspicions that it would have extremely strong repercussions if... Could I break in from there? No idea. Anyway, I feel like this would have extremely strong repercussions if we actually kept this as I as we did. So, let's... let's not... Let's not murder everyone, just in case. It's too early in the game to start murdering everyone. Oh. From Bacanon Kitty, Vanquip Group. Even though I've been nigh on 20 years since our last meetup on Groundbreaker, I was hoping we could get the old gang back together. I understand that things have changed, some of us are long range haulers, some of us have gone corporate, some of us like are likely dead, and some of us are on Tartarus and not reading this message. But I haven't lost hope. No one's responded to my last invite, I hope that means your schedules are full up with family gatherings and job opportunities. Stay free, freelancers. From Iceman to Conveyor's Collective, Conveyor's Rhines. Hey all, so just I just got off from off ice from a ground trip to Tashkava. Two years out, two years back, imagine my surprise when we detoured and Groundbreaker comes told us our docking was gonna be delayed. One hour turned into five, then days went by and then we spent an entire goddamn week waiting for a buff on this low fucked port bucket. And because we were kicking our heels all the time, not one of us got paid. I don't know about you, but I've got expenses. A family I don't see often enough, debts you won't fucking believe, and even if I'm not working, I still gotta pay my payments. Does that seem proper to you? Don't we, have co don't we conveyors here have rights? We should do something about this. If you agree, leave a message here and I'll respond with it when I get back from Jensen in three years. Iceman out. This message is no longer accessible at your clearance level. Public notices. To those of you who have raised concerns about the quality of Groundbreaker's whittles, yes, I'm aware of the prominent that prominent stinks. Allow me to put the matter to rest. Our ancestors didn't rise from humble beginnings on a diet of spreadwurst and post, but that's the reality of life up here. If you can sort it, can it, or sip it in, up in a pouch, then we're not picky about calling it food. Spaces make you with what they have, and what we have is, re is smelly meat, lots of salt, and 11 kinds of mustard last time I counted. Try and enjoy it. This is a general notice about our impound policies. If the board impounded your ship, take it up with the board. Their embassy is the coding building opposite Sublight's warehouse. Send them your questions, outstanding fees and hate mail. Especially hate mail. If Crowdbreaker impounded you, pay your damn fees and don't bother my people. I was just looking for a new crew, to, new crew to sign on with. I've been stuck in Halcyon for almost a year now and I don't know what's holding up my next posting. Never had to wait this long to get on another freighter. I planned to, to take on one of the rare, rare long holes back to Earth, but I haven't been able to find any. And even the shorter skips to the inner worlds seem rarer than the outer world routes these days. If anyone has any information about upcoming work, please post it here. Hey, so here's my story. My ship uh, limped into Groundbreaker in a rough state. We couldn't make the repair fees, the token fees, refueling, and the fees for not being able to pay our fees. So I'm kind of stuck here now. Then they took my ship and sold it off as scrap. Now my credit is shot to hell and corporate fronters won't hire me on. I'm hoping someone with a bank to spare and places to go is feeling charitable. Thanks for listening. This notice has been posted 56 times in 632 days. That's... That's... That's been a while of waiting, hasn't it? Okay. Well, I have a plan. And presently, most of our planning has... Pretty much gone to shit, to be honest. What do we have on this branch? We have Bashes to Anywhere. Happiness is a warm spaceship. Who goes there? Solution Vital, First Contact, and Savager in the Sky. That's a few options. So I still need to f speak to Gladys. I need to get the things. I need to go and kill Captain McCrate. I need to cap 
find Captain Irion on Scylla. That's actually on Scylla by this point, isn't it? First contact out to Ellie. Uh, yeah, I haven't talked to Chess about that. Huh? And speak with Lilia Hagen. Lilia Hagen is the person over for that shop. Okay, now my question is Can I jump high enough? No I was sort of hoping we could bypass back into that without having to murder everyone The murder may have been preferable to selling out Jesse I probably should go talk to Jesse about that as well Worthwhile. What's this then? Is this the... Oh, that's the medical bay. We've been there. That's rest and go. I don't know if we've been here. Ooh, can we rent an upstairs room? We interrupt your regular Looks like a note. scheduled advertisement for the following story. How do Hi. you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Do you do business with the prominent merchants? Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. Yeah, how's the life on Broadbreaker? Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. You mentioned Sublight? Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight, but I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. How does Groundbreaker keep the board at bay? Our chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. I'm looking for the lettuce. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. I'll be on my way. Oh, I completely forgot about to read uh, Sunday's terminal as well. Please, everyone, step inside. Step inside. Just because I can lock these things with key, does not mean I should be seen doing so. Parvati, either you're in or out. Your choice. This is how I recommend you get inside. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisements for the following Fine. Ooh. So there's some things. Bro, what you gave me the spooks? The spooks, I tell you. I was not at all expecting you to just open the door after our previous discussion. Oh, we need another key card. So a robber of this place has yet to be completed. I can hear a sprat. Hi, freighter crew. Pay to view movies. Pay to view is restricted to diamond level guests, but feel free to peruse our catalog. Entertainment cartridges are available for rent at the main desk. There are currently zero cartridges in stock. My big canid friend. Synopsis a lab grown giant canid goes on an adorable rampage, leading a family of scientists on a wild chase across Emerald Vale. Spending the holiday away from home proves to be a chore, but the family soon realizes the true friends are the monsters you meet along the way. Rated FSR 11 for fun time, stimulated rampage, and body count 11. Nanner Spank 7, Primal Affections. 
Race by Wilderness Primals, one man will leave the jungle he knows to explore the one he doesn't, Keystone. He came from Nenner's Bank, but he stayed for love. Can a young corporate executive color this creature and will, or will she awaken the beast within? Rated PACNS for passion, anthropoid and consensual Nenner's Banking. Oh my. Pay to view cereals. Pay to view is restricted to... Bacon with Edna. In, in this time-honored culinary classics, Jeff Edna gives valuable life lessons while she cooks from the book of approved cakes. Learn to maintain a structured kitchen, obey your head chef, achieve a good sponge, and obey your sous chef. Sushi? I don't know. I don't know what, how that sauce is, sauce is pronounced there. Edna is the boss in her kitchen, now she can be the boss of yours. A space hospital. If the walls of Orbital Hospital could talk, they'd shriek with terror. These doctors have seen it all. Zero C cyst lancing, extraterrestrial teratoma. Next, on a very special episode, in order to trap a gem thief, Dr. Margrave must become a serial arsonist. Don't forget to see Space Hospital Knights for steamy suspense. Broderick Sprout. An ordinary colony family daydreams of the extraordinary. While Lucia works in the factory canning processed post, her ham-handed husband cooks up schemes to land her a big promotion. Will that lovable fool ever learn to be satisfied with what he has? Broderick Prude is a testament to the less is success family lifestyle. Okay, is that what they think it is? No, that's those poor cards. We don't need more those poor cards, do we, Max? We already have some pretty good ones over there. Ooh. This is even not stealing. Which means... It's just a good time. Since this was an option, it's a good thing I did not use up a card on this, but it's possible that using a card here would just have only opened the door instead of being consumed in the process of of how it worked with safe. Okay. I hear you, Spratty. Step lively, Miss Holcomb. I I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh, boot was untied. Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost. Okay, what's this then? I served on two corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my setup story, but no one's listening to them. I'm just background radiation. Was it my fault the captain decided to take off early? Was it my fault no one checked the crew manifest? Was it my fault they replaced me with a full timer? I'm a filthy bitless and bedless as far as anyone's concerned. I'm groundbreaker trash. That's how I live. And if no one agrees to take me on a screw, I suppose that's how I'll die. Did we find this squatter already? Or. No. Where are we headed? This is the medical bay again. So we're back in medical. Which gives us a medical bay key card. It's just bad. Yeah. Oh we can use the medical bay key card to unlock that door. Which would honestly give me an option to go and talk to Jesse and let her know exactly what I have done. Oh, she has already left. Alright, that's fine. Also, for some reason I have not dropped the place. How unlike me. Like, it looks like I've ever been at the, in the bin and all that, but I haven't taken the, all the small stuff. Guess you could say I wasn't sweating the f small stuff. But truth is, I wasn't looting the small stuff. Our disguise is nearly gone, so... Uh, let's pretend nothing is strange. 
Who wants to play an impromptu toss ball match? Like no in the one? sewer? Really? Like here? No. No, I don't know what toss ball is. You could teach me. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? I wanted to ask you about toss ball. Okay, never mind. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will go and talk to someone. Also, there's an enemy marker on the map. That's interesting. Oh well.